well. <laughs> um, it's working better. I wouldn't say it's working good, but it's working better. So this is now the output. This is 0 to 500, and it's outputting most of the frequencies now. Uh, remember, it didn't output these bottom frequencies, only the upper frequencies. So the, out, the up, bottom ones are coming out now. This little dip here. And um, I think I know what caused it, but you're not going to believe it. Um, well, maybe you will. <laughs> Do you believe everything I say? All right, let's take a look inside the box here. All right, so we have uh, this generates the sweep. This generates the uh, oscillation. This is the amplifier. It goes into uh, this box, which is the channel one, channel two, channel three switcher thing. It has channel two and three oscillators in it. And then it goes into a uh, step attenuator and goes out the front. And so I was fiddling with this and um, I disconnected a wire just to try something out. And uh, this is the, the input, this is the amplifier. So this is the input, it goes through a pin attenuator and there's this thing that pulls down on it. So I think this is a leveling loop, it's called level control and level output and stuff. So I said, well, maybe the leveler is just broken. So I disconnected this uh, leveler thing and just let it go straight through. And it seemed to be working better. So I thought, okay, well, I put the wire back on and it continued to work. <laughs> so don't ask me, don't ask me what I did. Um, so then uh, I, I measured it and uh, I measured it here. And sure enough, it was all frequencies. And then I went over to here and it was all frequencies. And I went, oh, okay, well, this isn't attenuating it. That's not attenuating it. And out the front panel, the zero to 200 megahertz was gone. The only thing in the way is the attenuator. So I pulled out this BNC and monitored directly on that BNC. And sure enough, all the frequencies were there. So the attenuator was killing, killing the high frequencies. So I believe there's probably, I should probably open this up and, and put deoxid into it. I did put deoxid into the two uh, BNCs that are on the step attenuator, and now that's coming out the front. Uh, so you can see it's it's at a, it's at a nice high level, and it's you know it's within 10 dB of being flat. <laughs> I mean, I could zero it out if I was using going to use it to make measurements and stuff like that. But let me um, let me go ahead and, and step out so you can see kind of what's going on. So this is. Um, uh, this is the sweep, now it's going between 0 and 1.8 gigahertz. So this is the sweep to 500, and then there's this really weird 700 megahertz that just pops on there in the in-between sweeps. And if I go to the channel 2, then it does, a, it does a very nice sweep and it's a nice high amplitude. And if I do the, um, uh, the, the channel 3 highest frequencies up to 1.4 gigahertz, that, that's working just great. So. Um, it is a very nice sweeper for 900 megahertz and up. No, 500 megahertz and up. So from 500 to 1.4, it's working just great. And then down here at 500 megahertz, it's still it's still weird. There's a whole bunch of harmonics that show up. So I think that amplifier is still busted in some way. Um, I don't know what it is yet, but it does seem to be operating better now. Um, so do I continue to work on it? Hmm. I don't know. I think it might be a lot of work to get that uh, to get that attenuator work, that uh, amplifier working, because I don't have an extension card. I don't have a component locator. I don't think I do. I have to look. I don't have a look. A look uh, anyway. Um, and the thing is super super hard to work on because everything's point to point wiring, and some things are in tubes, and uh, I think it might be a lot. A, a lot of work that's not uh, <laughs> that's not going to be fun. Uh, so, uh, what do I do with it? Do I just use it from from 500 and up? Probably. Um, I just don't. I just don't think I have. I just don't think I have what it takes to 
to, to, to work on this thing. I just don't think I do. Um, I guess I could try to make it work on the bench and go through it point by point, but it would require me to really hack into things. I would need to basically do 10 wires from the box to the bench. And um, yeah, maybe, maybe that's what's required. I could at least kind of trace through it and see what's going on. Um, and then if I do find out what's wrong with it, I think, like I said, it's going to be a real royal pain to, uh, to try to fix this thing. Ah, what do I do? What do I do? Anyway, I think I'll maybe put it in the back burner for a while and uh, try to figure out where to go from here.